All right, Jamie. Hi, we're here with week three. We'll be talking with you guys about the use of your legs and extension, uh, both off and on the ice, how you can translate your work in the studio to on ice stroking. Want to get started? Start with tendus. All right. So we're going to start from a first position. Very simple. It's about working your technique. It's not about being complex. So you, if any of you have taken your ballet class, obviously you can do a forward tendu. You can work your tendu to the side and then to the back. I really want to stress the importance of working the simplicity. Take a basic ballet class if necessary. We're going to discuss your back tendu as it's most applicable, I would say, to the ice. Definitely. So, and your back tendu, what you want to do first of all is make sure your weight is transferred to your standing leg as you begin to bring that working leg back. Notice I transferred my weight all the way over. I've stayed lifted in the lower abdominals, I'm not releasing. As I extend this leg back, I work to keep the length of the ankle is a priority before extending the toes through. So notice, as I go through, a lot of us skaters make the tendency to go from here, flexion of the ankle, lifting, and then pointing fully. Instead, we want to keep the toes on the floor as long as possible, find that length in the hip as well as that ankle before pressing through to the nice point. The main difference you'll see on the ice is we'll be in a bent position, in a, in more of a T position, a uh, classic T position you'll see in skating, and we're actually going to load the working leg more than the front leg because we're stroking from that working right leg. You see Catherine extend here, she'll point all the way through and lift. You'll notice the toe won't be on the ice, or on the ground I should say, as it would be in a tendu. It's very similar with a little more turnout to prevent catching the toe on the push. Okay, I'm going to demonstrate a stroking exercise where I show full extension, full point, before I leave the ice with the stroking leg, just as Catherine demonstrates in the tondus in the studio. My, I bend with my hips over my skate, Full extension and point before I leave the ice. Bend, stroke. Bend, stroke. Now I'm going to do an incorrect one. Bend and tip forward. So I've lifted my leg off the ice before I fully extended and I've tipped my shoulders in front of the hips. Here's a correct one again. Just as full leg extension is important in generating speed through a stroke, Catherine is demonstrating its importance in stylizing your choreography. You'll notice she intentionally flexes both knee and ankles before lengthening. Also, experiment extending in a variety of tempos and placement in space. Of course, anything Sasha Cohen has done will showcase exquisite extension. Always keep an eye open for the greats. This spiral in particular is memorable. Look at the height and length of the leg. Also, take a look at Marina Anasina and Gwendal Pezera. Here you'll notice they both showcase flawless use of leg extension throughout their choreography. A unique quality of theirs is the emphasis of the male leg extension. Gwendal demonstrates this beautifully. Notice this lift here. Let's review. Practice your off-ice tendus and always work stroking exercises by the boards before gliding. Don't forget to experiment with extending the leg in spaces and at different tempos. Remember guys, we'd like to hear from you. Follow us and The Skating Lesson on Twitter by going to at skatinglesson. Send us questions, thoughts or videos of your work.